What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you a very different kind of video. What I'm actually doing today guys is I am going through wrestling terminology with my sister um, and yeah. Embarrassing me. Pretty much yeah, we're going to see how many she can get right um, and just hopefully have a bit of fun with it. I have 15 wrestling terms to go through um, and yeah, let's get started straight away. So we're going to start off with an easy one, superstar. Famous person. No, in wrestling terminology. A wrestling famous person. Like like John Cena. WWE's name for the wrestlers on their roster. I'm not gonna. I'll give you that one. Thank I'll give you. you half a point on that one. Okay. Are we keeping tally? Yes. We need to keep tally. No, it, it's fine. I'll do it in post. Okay. Babyface. Like Hornswoggle. No. Is that really offensive? That's really offensive, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> Face. Of a child? No. Or a small person, such as Hornswoggle? No. <laughs> if I say John Cena is a face... What, like face just in general? What does face mean? Yeah. The thing that's stuck on your ears. <laughs> this is really stressful. Yeah. In wrestling terminology, right, John Cena is a face. He's An been important a, person. He's, he's been, been there for a long time. No, he's been a face his whole career. Whereas Randy Orton and Big Show have gone from face to face to, yeah. Like the Craigs were a face. No. No. A good guy. A good person. A, a good guy. Heel. What is a heel? The thing on the back of your foot. No. The thing on the back of your shoe. No. It goes hand in hand with face. Oh fucking hell. I've just explained what face is. What's heel if face is good guy? Oh bad guy. Oh, take your time. Oh. A mark. In what, like, can you put it into context? Because there's like mark like middle-aged man, there's mark <laughs> on your clothes, there's mark. See that fan right there, he's a mark. Someone that stands still. No. Oh. He's he's a mark. He yeah, he's definitely a mark. Look how much he's getting into it. He's a hundred percent a mark. A fan. No. A fan. No. Oh, a fan. I thought you meant a fan like a blowy fan, like a super fan. But you're a fucking idiot. No, like. You pointing in this direction. There's an, there's a TV there. That's not a fan. No, I thought you meant like an appliance. Um. A guy, a fan. That believes a super fan. A fan that believes it's real is a mark. Oh. I'm not going to give you that either. A smark. Sorry, what's not even a word? A smark. If a mark is a fan that believes it's real, what's a smark? Someone who thinks it's fake. Nope. An anti fan. Nope. It's still a fan. Um, a super fan. Mm -mm. I'm a smark. Oh well, well, you just opened a whole new tin of worms, don't even get me started. I'm a smock. A fan that wrestles. No, I'm a fan, but what? Like, I'm a fan, but I know some, like... You know all of the fucking useless words that I evidently don't know. Not useless. Um, a smock is a, f a smart mark. So a mark. So is someone a... who knows the terminology, which is exactly what I just a said. A mark is a smart fan that knows it's scripted but enjoys it nonetheless. Which is what I said. A fan that knows it is fake. You never said that. I said that. Rewind it. I said that. Someone who thinks it's fake. Someone who thinks it's fake. Someone who thinks it's fake. That. I can't rewind it. I get it. that point. In post, I've got one point. If you say that, two. Because I've given you the heel one, even though I gave you it. One, two and a half. No, wait, I don't know. One and a half. So that means that I get that one, which is two and a half. Because I did get that right. If, whatever, okay. Gorilla position. Like, when they like stand on the ropes and they're like squatting. Is that right? <laughs> it's not a actual position, it's a place. It's an area backstage. 
That's not the car park, because that's the car park. Changing rooms? Nope. The bit before they run out? Yes! Come on! Finally, you got one for yourself. Green. The colour. No, <laughs> if I was to say, oh, that wrestler's green. He's pretty green. A good guy. No. Mm. That's, I'd say face, wouldn't I? That mm. wrestler's, that wrestler's pretty green. It's just like, oh, you... Eco-friendly. No, you've joined that new job. You're quite green at it. Good. No. You've just, you've just joined the job. You're pretty green. Pretty new to it. Wrestlers in the early stages of their career. I'll give you that. Angle. Cut. No, but... I can have half a point for that anyway, because that was knowledge. No, because it's not terminology, that's just a name. Which is... Insight. What an, what is an angle? So if I say, oh, we're going to air this angle now on TV. Oh, on the cameras? No, we, we're just going to start doing this angle now, weekly. Oh, a new approach at something. A new... New storyline! Yes! A no. botch! What is a botch? A person with really awful plastic surgery. <laughs> No, in wrestling, <laughs> botch. Someone on steroids. Now if he botched that, like... You fucked that up. Yeah, pretty much. A botch is something that does not go to plan and fails. So, yeah. A burial. I swear that geezer's died like 49 times. I don't know that one. Do you like? It's so when, when, when someone throws someone under the ring. No. It's used in not an actual, not in a physical sense. It's used as like, so if I say, oh well, I'm going to hit the burial on you. It's not doing a move or something. It's like. Pass. Lowering a wrestler's status in the eyes of the fans can be done by having them lose in multiple squash matches. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jobber! Like a job's worth? Like one of the announcer people? No, so if I was to say, oh, we're going to get this local competitor in, he's a jobber. Someone who does it at the minute, low grade. No. And he's bringing himself up, no? No, quite the opposite, actually. Someone who's really good at it, because it's their job. No. Just give me a day. A jobber. So I'm going to say, oh yeah, uh, Braun Strowman faced multiple jobbers when he debuted and beat them all. Reigning champions? No, every single job. He beat every single jobber. Every single opponent? Jobbers, who, someone who always loses. Oh. A cell. Like Hell in a Cell. No, I mean like not in not sell as in C E L L. It's sell as in S E L L. Like, oh, I'm going to sell this move for you. I just gave it away. Sell it is like when you're really over the top to make sure that it's executed properly so the people believe it. You know, I'm going to give that. It's to react to something in a believable way. <laughs> over. So if I was to say Rusev Day oh, is over. Oh, you made the questions. I was like, wow, okay. Oh no, like over as in Rusev Day is over. It's done with. No. Like the, it's over with the crowd. But you've passed it. He's got himself over. I'm saying multiple sentences, all of which don't make sense. They all mean the same thing. He he has worked so hard that he's finally got over with the fans. Oh, like he's won them over. Continue. He's what? He's done what? He's won the fans around. The fans are now fans, as opposed to thinking that he's a bad guy. What are they fans of? Him. Okay, good. I'll give you that. Over is achieving the desired crowd reaction with the audience that are buying into that gimmick or performer. Shoot. Score. Well, it could be like, ah, oh, shoot. Or it could be like you shoot someone in the head. No. Or you shoot a punch. I didn't think you'd be getting this one. Shoot. So if I was to get given a script and I just go, no, nah, I'm going to say this instead. Okay, so improvisation. Uh, yes, but... Do you know what I've come up with? 
they literally have people that sit behind the scenes and make up words for the shits and gigs because all of these words have words that mean exactly the same thing that are actually in the dictionary yeah but and I bet you they're paid like triple my salary as well a shoot is when a wrestler deliberately goes off script breaking kayfabe I'm sorry what when they go off script so like kayfabe do you know what kayfabe is who's that it's not Kayfabe is, for example, look, Chris Jericho, for example, when he's a bad guy, when he's a heel, uh, I read it in one of his books, um, he met a fan, uh, a little child, and the child asked for an autograph, he completely ignored them. Just completely ignored them. Fucking rude arsehole. Because he wanted to get the fan, that fan to hate him because he's staying in kayfabe, he's keeping kayfabe alive by not all of a sudden on TV being the big bad guy and then in real life being like, oh yeah, I love my fans. Understand? Yeah. Spot. I'm gonna do this spot. When you stand outside and make sure that people don't fall out of the rain. No, no. That's what it means in trampolining. I use it, um, I use the term quite a lot in our matches with Zach. We'll be like, right, we're gonna do this spot and then we're basically gonna have a spot fest. Uh, Move. No, we're just gonna, right, I'll, I'll do this and we'll set up multiple spots for this match. Different camera places. Give up? Yeah. A planned action or series of actions in a match. So a sequence. Yes, but you, it's got to be, you never said sequence. Final one, a turn. Well, I don't know, because you can take it in turns. You can do like a turn. I'm going to go, right, you're turning tonight. You're going from good guy to bad guy. Yes! Come on! That's the second one I think you've got, and that completes On myself? It. On myself? By myself? On yeah, my own? Yeah, by yourself. Yeah. So I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to my sister for featuring in this video. Uh, probably never going to feature in a video again. Um, but, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.